What's up, y'all? As promised and as requested, I'm finally bringing you the Infinity Gauntlet. I have been reading requests, and I know that the Hulk is making his way up, so he will be next, so don't worry about that, guys. Oh, and on a side note, Disney just changed the release date of Infinity War from May 4th to April 27th, so we'll be getting Infinity War a week earlier. Yeehaw! Anyways, you guys have been waiting for the Infinity Gauntlet, so let's get started with this review. And here's one side here. The Infinity Gauntlet is held onto the package by this little cord right there. And here's the other side, also held on by cord. Here's the top. Here's back with some glam shots, some wording, and Thor's Stormbreaker hammer. And his bottom with UPC. And there it is guys, the Infinity Gauntlet. Now I'm gonna save the best for last, so I'm gonna start with the fingers, work my way around, and then come right back to the Infinity Stones. So, let's go ahead and get this review started. Now starting with the fingers, we have some nice detailing going on there. They molded in some nice armor detailing there to give it that metallic gauntlet look, which is pretty sweet. Now the fingers themselves are actually made out of soft rubber. There's no padding underneath, it's just rubber wrapped around plastic. Now this rubber portion wraps around from this seam right up here, goes through the side here, through this finger, comes all the way down here through the bottom of the fingers, goes through the thumb, comes around here a bit, and then goes right back up into the top of the seam. Now like I said, there's no padding underneath, it's just rubber wrapped around plastic, but there is maybe like a quarter inch air gap between the rubber and the plastic, so it's somewhat cushioning, but I mean it gets hard real fast, so if you punch somebody really hard with this, you know, they, they, they might die. So it's really best left to fist bumps. Oh wait, that's right, your fingers don't move. And taking a close look at the palms, we move right into hard plastic. Now the notches on the side here are just there to hold them in the packaging. I really wish they could have chose a different design because they just look kind of ugly. Now the palm here also houses the battery compartment, which uses two AAA batteries, which are included with purchase, so you don't have to worry about buying those. Now moving into the gauntlet part of the gauntlet, that sounded weird. We get some super nice looking sculpting all the way around and it looks quite good for a budget gauntlet. You have some nice sculpting lines here and some legal mumbo jumbo on this side here. Both sides of the gauntlet has this nice little kind of pattern there going on there. It looks kind of as guardian. There's a little stipling pattern going around here, but it's a front that has all the really nice looking details going for it. Now this gauntlet piece is also made of hard plastic, but it's a thinner hard plastic, so it has a little bit of flexibility to it, but not too much, so it does feel like it would shatter if you sat on it, so definitely be careful about that. But it does have a nice flat edge down here, so it won't topple over when you try to display it. Or at least not as easily. All right, now let's look at the inside of the gauntlet. The inside is just plain and smooth plastic, no sculpting whatsoever. The top portion right here is just flat, nothing much to it, but you do get a little handle that you can kind of grab onto so you can hang on to the gauntlet. Now let's move on to the good stuff. Looking at the Infinity Stones, they have a nice gem-like sculpting to them. They're sculpted in the same hard plastic, just like the rest of the hand, but they do look really nice and they did a pretty good job on them. Now they all have a little bit of transparency to them, but only the Mind Stone here actually lights up. Now to activate the lights and sounds, you simply push the Mind Stone and it'll light up and the sounds will come through the speaker holes right there. Now there's definitely a few different sound patterns in here, but I can only really distinguish two and the rest sound so similar and they have no actual like cycling pattern that I really can't tell how many sound effects that they actually have in this thing. I'll go and play five sound patterns for you and see if you guys can tell the difference. Here's number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. And number five. That's one of the ones that's easy to tell. All right, now let's go and size this thing up. It's about the size of an adult hand, as you can see. It's the size of my hand right there, although it is quite wide. Now it's about 10 inches tall. The top of the fingers are about four and a half inches wide. The base is about six and a half inches wide. And the inside of the gauntlet is about four and a half inches wide. Now I don't have a weight scale to weigh it, but my perfectly calibrated arm says it weighs about one pound. Here he is next to the Titan Hero Iron Spidey and Thanos. And there it is on Thanos. And here it is next to Hela, who's probably going to be Thanos' girlfriend in the movie. And here's Cyclops. An X-Man, but now owned by Disney. Here's Hero Vision Captain America, Groot, and Rocket. Here's Headphone Spidey, Mighty Mug Black Panther, Mighty Mug Hulk, Disney Toy Box Black Panther, a car, and one more. Okay, let, let's see if you behave this time, Flash. Just stay there. And the Flash! 
Well guys, overall I actually do like it. Now it's not as nice as a Legends Gauntlet, but that thing runs 100 US dollars while this only runs 20. There's a lot of other stuff you can buy for the 80 bucks you save, like more Hero Vision figures. And you can still play around with it, even with an adult sized hand, and it serves as a great display piece with its nice detailing. Anyways guys, if you like this video, you know what to do. Now I still have some more Infinity Toys to review, so stay tuned for that. And like I said, I've read your requests in the comments, so the Hulk will be next. Uh, not, not that Hulk. This Hulk. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace!